myself. Uh, I'm Michael. I'm Elizabeth. And how long have you two been together? Uh, three. We've been a th we've been together three year mm. this May, and but I've known him since we were seven. Well, I was 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18 19. <laughs> yeah. So you do properly. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know each yeah. other. Yeah, of course we do. Yeah. And what's your relationship like? Good. It's all right. It's Good. all right. It's just when we're in armies, other people are trying to get involved. Yeah, mm. some of people. Trying to break us up, basically. Trying to cause problems. Yeah, because yeah. they don't like to see people happy, and well, yeah. Mm. Obviously, you talked about in your last interview that you've got sort of like a history of abusive relationships. Yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Does being with Michael yeah, is different, It's obviously. different, yeah, it's different with Michael, yeah. Yeah, do you feel safer with him? Yeah, I feel safe with Michael, yeah. And that's what I said in the interview, didn't I, the last one. Yeah. I do, I do feel safe with him, I do. But probation and all that, they, just, they don't want it, they don't want it, they don't want it. Because obviously, we've all got, we've all got us past. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Shut up, Lanks. And um, but Michael, you know what I mean? I'm down with being as violent. Violent, just not to women, you know, like just yeah. and, not to general, and not to kids, you know what I mean? In general, but just with like fighting with people and stuff like that. Yeah, so. Yeah. But apart from that, me and her were good. He asked me my name last night. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, he did, yeah. yeah. He, did, yeah, he, did, yeah. yeah. he went, don't tell anybody, Liz, I won't mind. He went, because I feel a cunt, I won't mind, do you feel a cunt? You shouldn't have to feel a cunt like that. No. Do you know what I mean? You shouldn't have to. Shut up, Lanks. What do you feel are the strengths of your relationship? What are our strengths? Yeah, like uh, as a couple. Uh, at the moment, it's, it's up and down at the moment, because obviously because of this house. Mm -hmm. I've got, I've got passed in that house, you know what I mean? And... It's just that house, basically. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, so like it's holding you back. It's yeah. holding me back, yeah. Yeah, we're trying, yeah, we're trying to get his own place, but yeah. it's hard. It's, yeah. But we're trying to put me in one hostel. And me in and another. We're trying to split us up. We're trying to put me in Sheffield. Or and put me, and put me in Crips over here. And no, we're so not going to do it. Obviously, yeah, of course. Of course we want to be together. What are your weaknesses as a couple? Um, weaknesses, I'd say, ah. You know what? I've you put me on the spot. <laughs> Come on. As weaknesses, what are my weaknesses as a couple? My weaknesses as a couple. Our weaknesses as a couple, yeah, is like we both seem always want to be right. So that's our weaknesses. Stubborn. We're both stubborn as each other. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's, stubborn. Why, that's our weakness because we're always both right. And that causes a lot of problems. Yeah, and I always have to get the last word. I always can seem to get the last word. But yeah, apart from that, everything's alright, so I know. What, um. Do you feel like the drugs play a role in the relationship at all? Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, well, yeah I, I don't think do. I don't... She doesn't think they do, but I do, I do. I, I, I do. I think they play a role in it. What role do you think they play? Um, a big role. Not a good role, neither. A bad role. Mm -hmm. And the arguments and stuff like that. That's it's where the house, play. it's the house, that's where, it? They, they can't blame me also everything. All right. But, yeah, it's, um, it plays a bad role. It drugs with us. It looks to crack cocaine, yeah. Yeah. And you don't feel like they do. She so don't, so don't think that they do. I don't know. I don't. I, I, I don't. Do. I think it does play a big part. Do you think it would be possible for one of you to be clean with the other not being? No. 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 It won't work. It won't work. No. It won't work. It won't work. It won't work. You can't have one on one on drugs and then not the other because it would just not work. No. We tried that when I got yeah, out of prison. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, it lasted that. about two days. Yeah. And it's just what, hard. Clean when you yeah, got I was clean, yeah. I was clean, yeah. Um, and then when I got out of jail, my brother was there and, like, he come to court she yesterday, but up. I'm alive, I slipped up. And then I got myself, got myself on heroin. Then, got myself off of it. Like, when these two went to prison, I was on fucking heroin. I was on crack, yeah, on spice. Yeah, left you in a bad way. I was in a bad way, you know what I mean? <laughs> Shut up, Lanks! That's what I mean, I don't, I don't like him going to prison, but... Would you both like to get clean? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do now. Trying to do. Yeah. That's what we're trying, we're trying to do. But his plans are, yeah, but... I'm sick of... Just to get, get, get us get sorted out. and we want it to go. We, we want it to go. We want to even move out of Leeds. Anywhere where, where possible. <laughs> I mean, but no one seems to try to help us or, or nothing. Probation, we're screaming probation. out for help. <laughs> probation. <laughs> Where we get Shut prescriptions up, from, we're screaming out for help and they're not just helping us. Yeah. Not helping us. And we can't even go on the internet because we don't know how to use the internet. You know, to look for um, properties look and that. For help we don't, yeah, because yeah. we, you know, we don't know how to work on that. And so, 
Is that no, what's his own one? Oh, what's that like? We had people, are, people are questioning now about my dog, Atla. Yeah, and, and, and now someone reported us for being living together. Oh, yeah. And we've stopped our benefits. So stop my benefits. Stop mine. Stop my benefits. And just stop them just yeah, like stop that. Yeah, stop them just like that. I went to get paid I've got, I've, got an, I've got an appointment on Thursday <laughs> to go down. Well, it's Friday, Friday the 27th. Oh, Friday the 27th, but to go down. So it's all being reported, so... I don't, I don't know if we're going to do with the fraud, I don't know. I've got a payment then, I don't know. But and how do they expect you to get by, like, just well, stopping them? Well, oh, listen, like, said I, it. I, I don't know, but so when it's like we have to, we've, been, we've actually had to be in our shoplifting. Shoplifting, that's what we do. We're shoplifting. We've got to get by, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, but we've got to eat. Yeah. Yeah. Have you got any sort of words of advice for any other couples that might be in the situation that you're in? Just keep, keep, keep at it. Keep, keep at it. Just keep just at keep it. Going. And, and you will get the things what you need. Just keep at it. Just don't give in. Just keep at it and we'll come to you. You can't get any lower. You can't get any yeah. lower than where is he are. The way up now is up. But just keep... Oh, I've had some you got me, you got me, you got me is, a is, ring is, as well, yeah, is, 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 Just keep going. Keep, keep going after it and it, you will get it eventually. You will I've get lost it. a lot of weight through it all, Sarah. Through the stress. Mm. I was in hospital. I just still got the thing on. Oh. I said, yeah. I've still got the ambulance that's yeah. come for her and that. She couldn't breathe and all that. Couldn't breathe, she's got a really bad chest. She was shaking really bad. She said, I've got a really, really bad chest infection. I'm sorry to hear that. Do you feel like you two were always meant to be together? Yeah. Well, I've, yeah, I, I, don't, yeah, I, don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah. Now we are, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, someone's pulled us close in, but do you know what, like my brother, he's trying to split us up. But the more they're doing that, the more we're just staying together, aren't we? Mm. That's what they're doing, they're trying to split us up. So even sort of your families aren't supportive? My family, my family's, his family's, family's very supportive. Right. Very supportive, his family, From yeah, both of us. We just spoke to his dad then. You're in Spain, aren't they, mate? It's just what was from him. And, yeah, it's like my kids, my kids like you, don't they? Kids yeah, yeah. Do you feel, and that, like I don't mean this in an insensitive way, do you feel like the drugs pull you together? Do you feel, do you ever worry that without the drugs, if you were both clean, things would be any different? No. 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 Because no. we have been there when we've not been on drugs, we have been there. Yeah. Both of us would be off when, I got, when I got Michael and his little his ex, he was low, but now he's back up now. Yeah. You, Michael? Yeah, we're really bad, yeah. When I left him here, I'm actually. Yeah, it was, that was that sort of hard times. But she, she got me up, she got me off at drugs, got me off at methadone, got me on subby sex, kept me out of jail. Went to courts and got him out and that yeah, and that. Yeah, he did, he did, he did a lot of things for me, yeah, she did really think. really held you down? Yeah, she has. Where do you see yourselves as a couple in sort of five years' time? Five years' time, I, I, I see us. I want to be working, maybe, but I want to be back working, I want to be back working, get my job back. Because I want, because I've just been to court yesterday, Sarah. And, yeah. um, a girl's got me done for robbery. Right? But, oh, but anyway, yeah. But in five time, in five years, I'd want to be working. I've a, a nice house. A nice house. Nice garden. A nice garden. And just get on with it and yeah. start going on holiday. And that's never been, kids, never been on holiday. Yeah. Never been on holiday. No, she's no. never been on holiday. No. We were on about getting his passports. So never been. I've never been on holiday. Where would you love to go? I don't know. Anywhere, anywhere, anywhere in the world, where anywhere. would you like to go? I don't, I don't know. Spain or... I don't know. I don't know. Spain, yeah. I've yeah. never been yeah. anywhere, Sarah. I've never no. been anywhere, so I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Have you got any day for the wedding? I've got a what? A day for wedding? Yeah, 15th of February. Yeah, because that's, that's when my baby will be born, when I have my baby to Michael. Yeah, that's yeah. when my baby will be born, when I have my baby to Michael. So yeah, I'm gonna do it. It's a lot of time in our so yeah, we'll probably will get it then. You guys can come, you're invited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We are, yeah. Yeah, you guys we will can be come. there. Yeah, man. Do you have any um, contact with the child that you have no. together? No, no. no. We've got one photograph of that's it. We, we're um, trying to get more photographs. Yeah, we're meant to get some every year, but we haven't got one. We've only got the one from birth when she was born. When she was born. That's all we got. Any plans of sort of having a family together or? Well, if it happens, it happens. It happens, it happens. Don't it? Don't all it? other kids are growing up now. They're all growing up, my kids. Well, what, six of them are. It's not seven of them, eight of them are, anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah. Apart from that, we're all right. Mm. Doing well, doing all right. We're well, we're coping, we're coping. Well, 
Why do you think people want to break you apart? Because the cunts. The cunts. That's what the others don't like, so you're having people happy when they're down, like shit, drag other people down. Mm. Part what, of them's also yeah. sort of jealous as well. Yeah, jealousy, yeah, everyone's yeah, yeah, jealous, yeah. Because yeah. how close we are and what we've got. We've got we, we, we go together. You know what I mean? People don't like that because they're all selfish. Because I guess no matter like what's going on in your life, you've got each other. Yeah, we have. Oh, yeah, that's one thing we have got. Helps, doesn't it? I ain't got yeah. nothing apart from my husband. And I ain't got nothing apart from my Michael and my kids. But mm. as long as I get in the house because my kids won't come out of the house. No. Won't they? No. 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 So no. I don't even like it. It's horrible. It's horrible. It's, it's horrible. It's horrible. devil in there. It's horrible. It's horrible. I think that's why I said I'm going to pain. It's 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 I don't know, it's I just it's spooky, so I think it's all haunted. I haven't even got a toilet on night. No, well, mm. not, not no, I'm, I get Did you not first time I bought Lanks there? They were barking, well, they weren't barking, they were whining. Yeah. But that might have been because he missed his owner or I don't know, I don't know, but... I feel like he sent something. Yeah, yeah he sent something, because dogs do sense it, don't they? Oh, they yeah. Sent, yeah, they, they do. They pick up on things yeah. that people don't. Yeah, they don't. do. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much for watching Michael and Elizabeth's story. We're now going to talk a little bit about it. Please don't forget to comment or subscribe if you have enjoyed. Thank you. So Michael and Elizabeth, we've obviously seen them separate. Yeah. And now this is one together. Um, where they're sort of talking about, because their relationship, like I don't know about you, but relationships in general like fascinate me. Like I could people watch all day. And I think two addicts together is a whole different, it's a whole different level. Like it's more challenging yeah. in some way. Well, every relationship like, it, is challenging. Involves you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they have got a good relationship on the whole yeah. until other people get involved, and I think that's probably that's the same for most people, isn't it? As yeah. soon as other people start to like try and stick the nose in or put ideas in your head or get involved, that is when things can go south. So Elizabeth is obviously she's been through a lot, and she talked about that in her other one. Yeah. But with Michael, she feels safe, um, which I think is a big, I think that's a big thing. It is a big thing. To have someone that makes you feel safe. And not on edge, yeah. yeah. So, probation, I don't really understand why it's probably any of probation's business, quite frankly. Why? Well, I don't understand why it is. Like, why, why is it their business? So probation doesn't want them together. Um, what, why, why is that their business? Maybe the reason if both of them have got problem, sometimes it's not good to have... Sometimes it can then multiply when they... Yeah. But I think that they're actually like a good influence on each other. Like I think they're quite happy to just stay in their own little bubble. Yeah. I think they're probably less trouble together than they are separate. I don't know, that's my opinion. Well, I think it's not just about them two. What about, what about the family members? Mm. Sometimes it's hard to just sit back and watch your family member or someone that you love destroy themselves. And maybe that's the reason why people get involved into a relationship. Yeah, because Michael obviously has got that violent past, but never with kids or women. Yeah. I sometimes struggle to get my head around that, as in like, why it matters so much. Like if someone's violent, surely someone's violent. It doesn't matter if it's not been towards kids and women. No, it's totally different. I know it's different. Come I know. Out, Sarah, I can't believe you said that. I can't believe you said that. <laughs> wow. I know it's different, especially the, okay. Take the kids out of the equation. Yes. Oh no, I don't know what I'm going with that. Thank well, you let's very just much. stop. At that point. Thank you very much. No, but like, especially with Elizabeth's past of being abused by partners. I'm gonna stop I don't know where I'm going with it. I I just don't see the difference. I do see the difference. I do see the difference. I see the difference. I understand the difference. So what's your point? So if someone's violent only towards men and not towards kids and women, yeah. To me, that is still a violent person. Oh, I totally agree with you. But is there's different, different levels. Yeah. I appreciate that. I, I do get that. Yeah. But from that point of view, like, he's still a violent person, like, he's still obviously got it in him. Yeah, without doubt. But it's totally different. I okay, get it's different. And you can't compare someone that hating only men and someone who hate 
woman and kids, they're totally different people. I know that. But I'm just saying, if someone's, it's still violent, they've yeah. still got that violent streak in them. Yeah, but it's different. I get that, I get that. <laughs> So at the moment their biggest hurdle is they feel like the house is holding them back. Um, their benefits have been stopped because they're living together and they're not meant to be living together. Yeah. I don't know if I want to get into that but because I feel like it, that's going to be controversial and people aren't going to necessarily appreciate my opinion. <laughs> well, it's your opinion once you care okay. about other people. Nothing. My opinion is that everyone else has to follow those rules. Yeah. As in, if I lose my job or get a new job or change job, yeah. if I don't let Universal Credit know, I won't get my Universal Credit. So why do they feel like they are any different? That That's my opinion, is everyone has to follow those rules. Yeah. You have to notify if you move in with someone, you've got to. And I, I know, I appreciate it's shitty getting your money stopped and I don't think that's fair at all because then how are you meant to survive? I do appreciate that and I don't think that should be the way whether they should just reduce it or whatever. I do not think they should outright be like, you're not having money. Yeah. But then also, I don't understand why some people feel like they're exempt from the rules that everyone else has to follow. I don't think they think, I don't think she think that. My opinion is they probably just genuinely did not think about it. No. But then to be annoyed that it's just being stopped when you're like, well, that's what everyone else has to go, like, it's what everyone else has to deal with. What are they going to eat? Well, I know that's what I'm saying, like, I don't agree with what, like, the government do in the sense of just being like, well, you break the rules, so therefore, no money. Like, I don't agree with that at all. And then expect them also not to commit crime in order to get money, like, how are you meant to? survive and get by like I don't get that but my point was just like everyone else has to follow the rules like I get that it's annoying but, you have to but if you rules. want to live together yeah you need to tell them that that was just my point <laughs> um so she this is the bit where <laughs> you could see they're a bit like mm -mm -mm, with each other she doesn't think that drugs play a role and he does. She basically blames the house for everything. I think the drugs make the relationship, their relationship stronger. Yeah. I think the drugs make their relationship. I don't think they'd be together without them. But I don't think they make it stronger. The drug kicked them together. 100%, yeah. Yeah. That's so Without the drugs, they wouldn't be so in a relationship, I don't think. If we can't say that. No, no, like I'm not. We can't presume. Fighting. I can presume, but it makes an ass out of me and you. No, I mean, no, no. Can't put all of that. And I, I get what she's saying. Is in like I do think some houses, like if you ever walked in somewhere and it's just like bad vibes. Like I think houses but energy. Do, yeah, I was gonna say I think houses do hold on to energy. Yeah. And that flat so probably has seen a lot of negative stuff and she obviously has a lot of negative memories. Of course, someone should have burned. The I, I, I never saw it, the front door. The front door is half burned. But then part of me feels like by her holding on to that, that is the way the house is affecting the relationship because she's holding on to them. And you cannot blame her for holding on to those bad memories. Like, I couldn't get over no. stuff like that. But I can see how that then does. But I just thought it was interesting how she thinks they don't play a role and he thinks they do. Like, they've both got two different opinions. But what I did like, because it proves my point, which I've made various times, that they have both said they would both need to be sober and clean together. One couldn't do it without the other or they couldn't stay in a relationship and do it. Yeah, for, for different people. Different for things for different people, I know, I know. Yeah. But I maintain that that's the only way it would ever work for anyone. I disagree with that. Oh. Um, and they think that if they both were clean and safe, the relationship would still be strong. Yeah. And I really hope. I hope they do that. And then five years time like they just want and again like I think we hear this with so many people 
in five years time like whenever we ask anyone that question like the answer is all like the majority of the time is just so shockingly normal like they just want their own place to be together and to be working yeah stuff that we take for granted stuff that day. you take for granted i don't think just me i think i'm not saying you do but i think the majority of people probably take that for granted and you do like and i think sometimes we do have to stop and think how lucky we are yeah to be able to come home and have a shower or open the fridge even if it's not what you want for tea there's food in there so i think maybe and i, I will like i'll admit i am guilty of that oh i know you don't have to admit it <laughs> <laughs> but then i think i'm not on my own with that i think a lot of people probably take that for granted speak for yourself <laughs> Please comment. <laughs> <coughs> but I really hope that they manage to stay out of trouble and work towards what they want. And get clean. And get so and you know the other thing, do you know how sad it is they never they don't want to use the internet? Yeah. Like they want us to take a picture of but they don't have no pictures like like she was asking to have a picture of both of them. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Like, I think you don't realise see how confusing technology could be if you don't know anything, like how to do anything. And so much stuff now requires like the internet and being able to do stuff. And how can you expect them to do this kind of stuff if they don't want to use the internet? Because so many like forms and everything are all online. online. Mm -hmm. It's difficult, isn't it? But hopefully they will get there. Hopefully. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again next week. Please don't forget to subscribe if you have enjoyed. Thank you.